Ladies and gentlemen, I just finished watching the Curb Your Enthusiasm series finale, and I have to say, I have a lot of thoughts, but I purposely sat on this video for a little bit of time just to collect them and make sure I kind of went about this as best I could. I've been pretty I've been pretty negative about season 12 at large throughout the run of it. And I took a step back from that and really thought about this season after I finished watching the episode and I'm glad I did. Because at its core, even though I had problems with a lot of the things that happen in it and I'd argue that this season felt more like a written show, whereas all of the rest of Curb Your Enthusiasm felt like a, like, you know, an improv show. Even though I had that complaint with it, every single episode of season 12 still made me laugh. And in doing so, it brought me more joy than any show I've ever watched. Maybe that's a crazy statement or whatever. But because I genuinely find Curb Your Enthusiasm to be so damn hilarious, even at its worst, it's doing a much better job of bringing me personal enjoyment than other shows. So that's a win to me. So even if I have problems with things that happened, let's say it's in this past episode or it's in any other episode, at least I can say with all seriousness that every episode, even its worst one, brought a smile to my face at some point. If a show could do that, I think it succeeded in at least something. And in general, Curb Your Enthusiasm has never been a show to take itself overly seriously. And though that's, to me, caused issues such as Larry David, the character, becoming way too over the top and always doing something wrong, whereas in earlier seasons, the, the comedy was that he was a human and it, it, it was just funny to see like things that other people had a problem with, whereas now it's like Larry David, the asshole, the big overarching asshole... Even if I have like a problem with that and that they're a little old and that, you know, some of those egoistic things about the show or whatever, all things considered, it still made me laugh, this episode included. So the finale episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, well, it focused on the trial of Larry David. And while it wasn't exactly what I wanted to see for the finale, like, you know, from a comedy perspective and all of that. I really genuinely like what they did. I like that they had callbacks to some of the funniest moments in the show with some of the characters and cameos, things like that. I thought it was great, like seeing Mocha Joe back, even though we've seen him twice, but once in a different form previously, you know what I mean? I loved that. I love that we got callbacks to the Swan episode and <laughs> the ski lift thing. Like... I really like that we got the addition to that, and I also like that we had Dean Norris in this episode, who's my boy, because I met him in real life. I'm just joking. I sound like a loser, but when I did see him on screen, I was like, yo, that's my boy, Dean, except Dean definitely doesn't know who the fuck I am. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm joking. That was all a joke, but it was cool to see Dean Norris in this show because I've always found him to be hilarious. I truly have. So seeing him be the judge was interesting, even though I thought his acting was like not really that good in this episode. It was still funny to see him. And just all the stuff we got was really strong. I like that they wrapped up this episode in a way that put a bow on the whole Seinfeld finale thing. And I'm glad we didn't see just a one-for-one -one rehash of that, even though I actually think that would be objectively really funny. I'm glad they didn't do that, and I'm glad they kind of broke the fourth wall a little bit with Jerry taking out, you know, Larry from the cell and being like, no one wants to see this. I like that they did that. I thought it was funny. It was a good way to acknowledge that and also felt relatively natural to Curb because the show's about the writer to Curb your, uh, the writer to Seinfeld as well as the real life other people like Jerry and other people. You know what I mean? So I genuinely wholeheartedly enjoyed that they, 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 acknowledged it while breaking the fourth wall, but they didn't break the fourth wall because it's about these real people. You know what I mean? I, I love the way they articulated that in a finale. And I also like that they didn't just end there. I actually really like the ending shot we got of everyone on the plane where Susie opens the window and everyone just starts yelling at each other. I felt like that really summed up the dynamic of Curb in such a good way. And it was a naturally good way to end the show. And yeah, obviously it technically leaves room for more to happen in Curb Your Enthusiasm with these characters. You could clearly tell this was the ending to the show. And I'm glad they left it in a note that that 
kind of felt final, but also felt open. I like when shows do that in a way where it's just a satisfying ending. And again, it doesn't really matter how they end the show here, technically. It really doesn't. So that's why it's not like I'm reviewing The Walking Dead here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm reviewing an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. This show doesn't take itself seriously. It's not supposed to. That breaks the rules of improv. That breaks the rules of comedy. You know what I mean? Not exactly, but like... The overall point I'm making is this show has never taken itself very seriously, and I'm glad they stuck that through and through even in the finale. And even though some of the episodes clearly took themselves a little more seriously than the other seasons of Curb Your Enthusiasm, I'm still ultimately glad we got everything the way we got it, and we ended the series in such a way. So yeah, again, while I have some problems at large with some of the events that unfolded throughout season 12, I can't just ignore the fact that the other 11 seasons of the show were, you know, weren't amazing. You know what I mean? All of those seasons of the show were still absolutely phenomenal. Some of the best comedy I've, okay, not some of, it was the best comedy I've ever seen. I genuinely enjoyed it. It was the funniest show I've ever seen. That's because improv is just great. It works so well. You have some, you have the best improv artists on this crew. You have J.B. Smoove, who is fantastic. You have, you know, Richard Lewis, who is I mean, I don't think he's as funny as J.B. Smoove, but he's he's very close. He's very, very close. He's my second favorite there. Larry, of course, is a master, just a masterful improv, as well as, and I'm drawing I, I'm drawing a blank on the guy's name, but Marty Funkhauser, even though he passed away in real life, the guy, I forget his name, sadly, but him, even his replacement, Vince Vaughn, obviously Jeff Garland, Susie, like all of them, they were just so good, and Cheryl Hines is just fantastic. The crew here was just masterful, and I'm glad that even in this season, we got cameos to bigger celebrities like Conan O'Brien, Dean Norris was in this, as I mentioned, and there was so many others in there. I love that Curb does that, and I love that it makes it feel like kind of the real world, but kind of not with some fictitious characters in there as well. Just all in all, I think this had just some of the best talent within the universe of like television. <laughs> I know that sounded a little crazy, but I genuinely do. I found it so fun, so funny, and through and through, I wholeheartedly loved this show. I genuinely did. I'm sad it's over, but I'm glad they ended it the way they did. It was time. They are getting way too old for this, and unfortunately, Richard Lewis passed away. You can't do the show without him. I truly don't think you can. Yes, he's not like an integral character, but he was one of the best elements to Curb Your Enthusiasm. He made it so funny because his relationship with Larry David was just so, so strong. So you really can't do another season of Curb. It's it's done. It's done, and it, it should be, because I feel like it was starting to lose itself a little bit, and like all good shows, you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Part of me felt that Curb was heading in that direction, but all in all, every episode made me smile for at least a minute, and if it could do that, it was successful all the way through the end. That's how I feel about Curb Your Enthusiasm. I'm really glad we live in a world where this show exists. I truly am. But I want to know your thoughts. Did you like this finale? Did you hate this finale? Let's start a healthy conversation down there in the comments. And with all that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.